Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted a still life with apricots and plums. They looked delicious in the shop but they turned out to taste awful. Still they were great as subject matter for painting. So that's for today and I just wanted to say that usually when I make these videos I'm um, I'm explaining about my technical approach during the painting but I thought it would be nice to do something else this week and so I will be talking about something I have been struggling with lately and that is uh, what to well what to paint really of course I still have my big project uh, going on and I still have to do two big paintings. Uh, the last one was uh, the one with the apple orchard you might have seen on Instagram. And uh, today I started with the, uh, the next big one. And you see, I've done some drawing uh, beforehand. And this is going to be the character I'm painting. If you want to see more of the progress of this painting, just keep an eye on my Instagram. I won't be uh, filming or recording the painting process because it takes too long, so <laughs> it will become a very long video. I will be posting pictures about uh, all the steps. So now let's dive into the demonstration. So today I want to talk to you about something that uh, I did not realize uh, when I decided I wanted to be an artist. And it is something that maybe uh, a lot of you don't realize. And that is uh, how difficult it can be to uh, decide what to paint. Now, I haven't always been struggling with this, uh, but I am now. Um, and well, I, I'll just explain how it all started. Um, when I decided to enroll to the painting course on the Art Academy, I just thought that it was all about um, learning technique, and uh, well, getting skilled in order to paint uh, well, whatever I thought beautiful. And that's exactly what I have done for the few, uh, for the first years in my um, artistic career. Let's call it that way. When I uh, stopped studying at the Art, Art Academy after uh, almost three years, uh, I started to study independently by working a lot from life and painting only what I thought beautiful. So uh, a lot of still lifes because that was uh, easiest to do uh, since I didn't have to pay any models. And it was uh, well, fruit or uh, chestnuts, uh, things I, I saw during, uh, during my walks, uh, fish at the fish stall. And I also enjoyed painting on plein air, uh, landscapes, drawing a lot on plein air. So I was uh, enjoying myself doing this and I was happy to see that other people enjoyed my work as well. I was teaching at the time and uh, through teaching I sold uh, many of my works as well as uh, participating to um, local art events and I like this way of being an artist so uh, being in touch with my clients and expl explaining to them uh, what my art was about. Uh, and uh, yes, that's, that's how I have been working for a long time. But after a while, I thought my work was missing something. 
I uh, realized that it was uh, mostly about uh, creating a pretty picture and I still think there's nothing wrong with that but I, I wanted more. I wanted to do something else as well and that's why I started with uh, this very big project which is uh, about writing a children's book um, and I've almost done doing that. And with that uh, children's book, I'm painting a series of six very large paintings because I wanted to uh, learn to paint uh, big. <laughs> and uh, these paintings are based on the story I'm writing. So it's a bit fairy tale like And I'm very happy that I made the decision to do this because this project allows me to uh, to use my uh, observation skills as well as my imagination. And I do think that my Im imagination is very important. Oh, sorry, I have to breathe because I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> so, yes, using my imagination to paint is uh, something I hadn't done before. And I, I think that I've reached a certain... Uh, technical level now that allows me to do this uh, but since this project is taking me so long I have been working on it for three years now not three years in a row uh, because I have been pregnant and during my pregnancy I didn't do anything and I also didn't do uh, anything artistic during the first months of being a mother um since it, it has been taking me so long, I find it hard to stay motivated because my brain works like this, that I have uh, new ideas constantly and when I have them, I just want to start uh, uh, executing them uh, at that very moment. So, um, for example, right now I have this idea of another book, which is uh, a picture book. And uh, I want to make uh, beautiful, dreamy pictures with watercolor, because uh, that's something I, I discovered to like a lot during my pregnancy. Uh, I have made several watercolors for the nursery, and I thought that would be a perfect technique uh, to make a picture book. But still, I have to finish the other project. So uh, well, I'm trying to stay motivated. Uh, but, but it is hard, uh, especially because when a project takes so long and uh, uh, yeah, you don't get much response uh, from the public, because it is still well, not secret, but uh, I haven't been exhibiting anything, then yeah, it makes you wonder why are you doing why I, why I'm doing this. <laughs> I have been struggling a lot with uh, selling my work lately, and I I never thought that it would be such an issue, but uh, not selling my work is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's making me uh, insecure. And I know that it is because I haven't been exhibiting because of uh, the pandemic and uh, because of my pregnancy. But still, right now, I am putting a lot of energy in uh, trying to get um, a kind of unity of style in my work uh, besides the children's book project. So, um, so it would be more appealing for a gallery to, uh, to exhibit it. Now, I've never, I've never paid much attention to uh, creating a unity in my work. I like the variety. So I think uh, you would agree that uh, all my works look completely different in color and uh, well, different subjects. Uh, I, I 
always use the same uh, palette, but uh, <laughs> somehow I, uh, I I can't manage to get uh, yes a unity in uh, in my still lives, for example, or in uh, my plein air paintings. They all look completely different. What you can uh, recognize is my. Uh, my brush strokes um, so yeah I think you could could say when you see one of her paintings that that this one paints by me but they they don't uh, they don't look like they belong together and uh, that has been worrying me lately because when I look on Instagram on other people's uh, profiles or the artist profiles I see that they make a lot of work that uh, that looks well, not exactly the same but uh, similar and uh, I have been wondering whether that is what a gallery would like to see right now I don't uh, I don't work with any galleries because that's what I was telling you I have been selling my work all by myself, but since I have to combine motherhood with being an artist, I I, I can't really find the time uh, even to paint a lot, so I I can't I can't uh, I just can't find time to promote my work and to sell it myself. So I need a gallery to help me. And right now I'm looking uh, for galleries who want to represent me and by whom I would like to be represented. Uh, so, yes, that, that's what I have been worrying about. What to paint and how to get uh, a unity in style. What um, what I also started to do is, uh, well, with this YouTube channel, is forcing myself to paint more smaller works, like this still life in this demo. And previous still lives were, well, a kind of uh, uninspired, I thought, <laughs> because I just, uh, I just, uh, threw my subject matter on a table and started painting but this time I thought I might as well uh, pay more attention to my presentation uh, so I'm I have been doing a bit more effort uh, to make the composition interesting and uh, that is something that I oh, I don't know how to explain myself when I'm working on plein air then uh, it isn't hard to uh, find an interesting composition because the subject is already so interesting. But uh, when painting a still life, it is um, well. It is about how uh, how to place, uh, for example, here the fruits, uh, how to place uh, the cloth, and um, it's, uh, about uh, well the negative spaces. So uh, that's what I will be focusing more on in the coming demos. I also hope to, uh, to paint a few more portraits because I know uh, you people like them. <laughs> so yeah, that's my chat for today, I think. And uh, well, you'll learn more about my thoughts in the next videos. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And I will see you next time. Bye.